This pandemic has forced us to cancel a lot of celebrations this year, but one that you do not have to cancel is actually happening tomorrow. Two of my favorite things. It is National Wine and Cheese Day, and I recently got to chat with entertaining expert Paul Zahn about fun and socially distance approved ways to have some fun and celebrate. Take a look. Thank you so much for having me today. Forget about Christmas, forget about Labor Day. National Wine and Cheese Day is a day I am all about. So first up, we are gonna take a trip around the world. We're gonna take it into International Wine and Cheese Day. Our first stop is Italy. So we're gonna go to Sicily in Italy, which is known for some wonderful wines, including Marsala wines, which we think of as cooking wines, but they're also great to drink. However, we're gonna work with a Rosso today that's made with a Nero di Avola, um, grape, which is indigenous to Sicily. Sicily has such great soil from some volcano activity there. It's on the beach, so they make some really great wines. We also need something to eat, right? If we're gonna have some delicious Rosso wine. So what we have is a wonderful caprese salad skewer set up here. And I know people are in isolation right now, but you can turn your food into a friend. <laughs> so what you wanna do is Cute. you take some skewers, some mozzarella and some tomatoes, and then you just have some balsamic vinegar and oil from Italy that. around, and you have your guests come over, and they dip that in, and they can have a delicious treat while they're sipping some of their red wine. So that is our first tip for an Italian player for National Wine and Cheese Day. Okay, and you know, you've come to the right Next spot up. since I, I am Sicilian, so, but I do have a question. Oh, perfect, um, perfect. I, it's interesting yeah. that you chose to do it with a cantaloupe. Kind of talk about that combo, why you decided to do that. Well, you can also use the cantaloupe with some prosciutto, or prosciutto, as we say, to I do think. some melon prosciutto shooters, which is also a great refreshing treat. It has a little sweet, it has a little savory. So that's a great treat also to have a little wine with that and really, you know, make your palate go on a roller coaster ride. Okay. I love it. Okay, what's next? Because next, I think you're also taking it to where I'm from as well, and that is Spain. Next up, what is more Spanish than some Spanish sangria? So what we're going to do is we're going to whip up a really fun sangria, and we're going to use mason jars. Because if you can't be with those you love and your friends for National Wine and Cheese Day, you want to put in mason jars some sangria, and you can drop it at their door so they can celebrate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some strawberries, some melons, we're gonna take some oranges, and then we're gonna put in some Spanish brandy, like so. Yes. And then we are going to use, we're actually, since I have the bottle open of Italian wine, we're gonna make this just a global sangria. <laughs> Good. And you wanna just fill it. Don't waste a drop, Paul, that's pour. what I say. Hey, I see you, I see you, we I, see each other. Right? Um, Paul, I have to tell you, you years ago when I was living up? in LA, my friend and I got on a sangria making kick, to the point where okay. our friends finally told us they had we had to stop. They're like, you've got to start serving yeah, other other things. But it was, I love it so much. And you could do white sangria or red as you're doing. Exactly, exactly. And then we also need something with a little bit of a Spanish flair to eat. So what I did is I took some baguettes and I actually used some red wine to make a delicious cherry strawberry red wine jam. It's just some Ooh. sugar. You, you boil the wine, you add in some strawberries, some cherries to give it that nice flavor, put a little gelatin in. And then again, we're going with the sweet and the savory. So we have some ham, because if you've ever been to Spain, you know, you Mom. love the ham in Spain. And then we're gonna just put an olive on top of it. So these are little baguettes that are perfect for that hola flair, you know? Yes. Okay, and then one more, I think you're, oh, we're gonna talk about champagne, I hope. The sparkling yes, we are going to move into sp champagne, sparkling wines. There are some rules, people, when it comes to sparkling wine. If, it, if the grapes are grown in Champagne, France, which is a region right. in France, then it can be called champagne. If right. they are not, if they're grown in California, say, that is a sparkling wine. And cava is in Spain. And then, you know, there are so many different types. Germany actually has a really yeah. great sparkling wine. It's called Sect. And it's made with a Riesling that's a dry Riesling. People hear Riesling, they think sweet. So, right. you know, I, I appreciate the sec, the champagne, the Prosecco, the Cava. I'll drink any of them. So we're going to pop that open. Woo! And then we're yes. going to pour some champagne. And there's, there's nothing better than some champagne 
with a French fry board. Now, French fries may not be really French, but they taste delicious. But what we did here, we put some variety of different French fries here. We got some brie, some gruyere. You wanna melt that down, have some champagne, sip away, and enjoy some French fries because it's all about summertime fun and summertime soirees. So that's a great way to use some sparkling wine. Another thing you can do, which they do all over Europe, is make an aperitif, which is a fun cocktail that has some bubbles in it that can open up the palate before you start the party. So what we right. did is here, we took a mason jar, we put, we put some liqueur in here. We're just gonna shake that up with some strawberries. Then we're gonna pour this into, this is a Christine size glass. I'd call this yes, a Christine perfect. size glass, right? And then- <laughs> I'm on vacation, Paula, come on. It exactly, is a little large here. Exactly. For 11, 11 a.m., yep. yeah. Okay, exactly, oh, that looks amazing. Exactly. I we love have some that. mint sprigs. So this really opens the palate to make everything, you know, taste wonderful when you're having National Wine and Cheese Day. Paul, thank you so much for taking us around the world on uh, one of my favorite days, as you said. Now it's going to be my favorite holiday, possibly over Christmas and Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Cheers, guys.